Titans is a charity that's 70 years old last year, uh, and we are at what's called a listening service. It's where folk who are struggling with suicidal feelings or indeed just finding life really difficult um, can call us. We're free 24-7, 365. Samaritans never closes. Um, and people can talk about things that are really, really troubling them. Uh, the link between Samaritans and Transpennine at the station here has come through fundraising, which the cats have done. Um, I believe most people in Huddersfield will be aware of the Huddersfield cats. We've got Bolt at the moment, who's still with us. Unfortunately, we lost Felix last year. But during the course of Felix's life, she's raised tens of thousands of pounds for charity. And obviously some of that money that she raised through books, through calendars, and just general donations that sent in to her have been, have been taken and we have distributed through different charities throughout the region. But one of those is the Samaritans. I have been working at Transpanam Express for 20 years and I've been a listening volunteer with Huddersfield Samaritan Brands for five and my journey working with Samaritans was when we were started running training for our colleagues on how to have a conversation with people who were maybe at risk of suicide on the platform and it really got me thinking I want to be able to help a bit more so I inquired about volunteering, I had an interview, quite an in-depth interview and I went through some training in the beginning of 2019. I've been there ever since. I think it helps me with my job here at TP because I run a course called Managing Suicidal Contacts, which is a Samaritan's course. Because I'm a listening volunteer, I think it gives me an extra insight when I'm running the course and it helps with the credibility of the learners as well. So um, yeah, I, I kind of like wearing both hats really. So if people would like to be listening volunteers, they can go to the website and they will send a link and they will get interviewed at, uh, with a team of interviewers and then they will be trained. There's a really good national framework of training but it's done here at the station and we do it in, on the evenings but also there's a national um, team of trainers so people who can't do the evenings here can train online with the national team.